Florida Congressman Corey Mills, U.S. Army combat vet. Uh, Congressman, first your reaction to what you heard from Barron's in the last segment. Well, look, I think it's very clear that when your job as a leader is to continue to try and fight and deploy alongside your troops, that the idea of running for politics should be the last thing in your mind. You know, look at where I wasn't actually supposed to go to Iraq during the invasion. And I went to my brigade commander and had to get a six month extension because I had an indeterminate service date that wouldn't have allowed me because of the amount of time left. So I got an extension so that I could be stop lost in an effort once I'm deployed to be able to fight alongside my guys instead of abandoning them. That matters. And you know who else was willing to deploy and didn't try and run away from it? Our great Senator J.D. Vance, a person who was willing to actually go ahead and put himself out into the field to be shot and killed or to make, as President Lincoln said, the last full measure. So I think it's despicable that even after all of this, he should have at least came back and said, I was promoted to command sergeant major. I never went to the academy and I was actually demoted back to master sergeant. But I was able to help with leading a battalion or I was able to help. But he's not doing that. This guy's trying to continue the lie in an effort to try and see if he can gain military favor from veterans when the real combat veteran and vice president in the future will be J.D. Vance. Well, Congressman, CNN was forced to report on all of this today. Watch. Waltz did make a comment, speaking to a group, he's done it a couple of times, where he has used language that has suggested that he carried weapons in a fighting situation. There is no evidence that at any time Governor Waltz was in a position of being shot at, and some of his language could easily be seen to suggest that he was. Well, that's, uh, I mean, they reported on it, kind of, but Congressman, we do know one thing. If J.D. Vance had lied or embellished or uh, oh. implication of a lie about his military service or bugged out before deployment, this story would have been headlines around the world for weeks and weeks. But here it's kind of, well, it might, might have been a little misinterpreted. Well, but that's the hypocrisy of the left-leaning media. As you know, Laura, these are the same people who have been playing Weekend at Bernie's to protect President Biden for almost three and a half years now, propping him up and trying to ignore the gaps, trying to ignore all the faults, trying to ignore Kamala's word salad to unburden what had not been done. I mean, talking about the coconut tree, I mean, you're talking about the idea that they're doing everything they can to put lipstick on a pig to make it seem better, and they're actually utilizing their propaganda to attack our side. But here's the problem, Laura. For far too long, the Republicans, we control the facts, but the leftists are able to control the narrative. And we have to take that back mm -hmm. by starting to put out the truth and put out the facts and calling out the left when they make these mistakes. Well, that vet certainly called him out tonight. Congressman, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.